Yeah. Um, ultimately, the ruling put down by the judge, you know, we can't really, we can't really argue against it, you know, because as well. When you want content quality, there's on place I'd rather be. Travel over land and overseas, watching the Delta family, the Delta family, the Delta family, the Delta family, the Delta family. Oh, go on, my peeps. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, man. So, you guys must have seen the tour of the, the new Airbnb list. You now, I've <laughs> my part of my eye, bro. Yeah, man. So, um, we did now a smaller install, you know, we promising to say we're well, gonna get one put on. So, I know we go in Jamaica when you live in Jamaica in, in terms of shipments, you have to wait. You know, things have to reach up Florida and they get freight forward and send them in, so stuff like that. So, or of course, if you have good neighbors like me, so I literally, a couple of my neighbors them, they fly up the other day and them did come in right in time. So, I just send the, the order to them and then pick it up and bring it when they come. So, yeah, I am here now at the apartment. You get me, I say, yeah, me already informed the guests that I install the smart lock because it's more convenient for them too, of course. Um, yeah, more convenient now if you are a scramble with keys and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm here now. Um, it's a nice little type one we get from off of Amazon. Of course, them, they took them out the bag, the, the, the box, the packaging. They already they take them out of the packaging. So, um, yeah, but we can still show now a little sneak peek of what it's like. This is like the front of it. So this part will be outside so this part will light up and you can punch in a code and then the other side after the inside so I'm going to call her now I already message her she said fine make that come so yeah I'll shout her up and now alright so hit this I'm going to take off this and replace it with the with the smart lock yeah man oh and of course this part. Hi, hello. hello. What's up, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's yeah. really perfect. And then goes here. So it comes with this. This part goes through here. And then the two screws go through. two screws come from here, go through the screw holes right here. Alright. All set now. And by the way. The smart lock here fully installed, fully up and running. Yeah, man. Really fully really up and really running. See that? Yeah. Yes. Guys, guess what? So, actually, here, as I say, we do the smart lock installation. And um, you know, I'm just there, and the gentleman called me over. And little did you know, or little did I know, he's actually a part of the family, you know? Kevin. Hey man, greetings everyone. Yeah, so um, you recently acquired this this property right here, you know, and um, I've been noticing from the other day when I've been coming, I've been noticing this beautiful driveway, and that's the first thing you said to me, say, you know, that driveway here, you know, we inspired him to to actually get it done, you know, and me like me like the look, me like the look. Yeah, so you can actually approach from the corner, as they say, the corner lot, or the the regular one that the default drive that they gave you know so quite intuitive and smart you know yeah. and of course too you know you can always make use of your your, your old property on the side right here so you know so it's good that we all can can learn from each other and take take advice as well and yeah man so so you're you're a new homeowner now yeah man oh you, you like the journey so far so, <laughs> So far, it's okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna try, you know, progress mm -hmm. time and from there. That's good, man. You know, creating generational wealth. You know, that's good. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, man. Please keep meeting. doing your thing, man, and we'll definitely see each other around. Yeah, you know. Definitely. Cool. All right. So you take care of yourself. All right. You too, man. All right. Yeah. They might be from back in the place, you know. Right away. As I'd promise. Um, the, the back room never have no AC unit, so get that rectified right away and buy a new unit around the back room, you know. So, yeah, technicians, technicians are here. Them are deal with it, you know. 
Make your marking, make sure say level and thing. Yes. Right. Yeah, so surely sharing a little secret to the know. So especially for a new listing, it is important that you get bookings quickly, early, and you get good quality reviews. Those are important, especially at the delicate st stage at the start, you know, because then the algorithm will know that hey, this is an interesting listing, people are interested in it, and also that it's a good quality listing because persons, they are satisfied when they book. So, you know, um, and they call it an interest algorithm. So area me, you wanna make sure, say, they, 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 they make, um persons view your listing because it it is a good quality listing at the end of the day so after you know you got to get those initial bookings and everything goes great airbnb will say all right fine let's push it out to more to more audiences you know so so the thing go man just like that you know hey guys what's up what's up what's up welcome back to the channel one more time you know we're there guys yes yes yeah hi Jaden. Yeah, guys, so welcome back to the channel. We know we've been absent for a little while, life was happening, and yeah, a lot of it was happening. Trust me, and you know, things can like, get a little overwhelming sometimes, yeah. you know, producing content and everything. So, you know, we just say we could just kind of take a little break momentarily, yeah. you know, while we get ourselves started out because, um, a few things are going on and. We're not gonna learn about that in short sure, order, in short yeah. order, guys. Some might have excellent news and yeah. some might have a, a more solemn note, you get me? I say, yeah. but just stay tuned, guys. We have some big news for the channel, right? We are investing ourselves mm -hmm. and thing, you know, um, making ourselves better, all right? So, um, yeah, so guys. We are here with you today and we have a couple of things. Well, first of all, we want to talk about um, some new developments in the Airbnb scheme of things or yeah. the Airbnb industry. And we are going to a subscriber's house. Um, they contacted us and they wanted us to pay a visit. Um, they are doing some um, construction, construction. Yeah, yeah. and they wanted us to to help see if we can help yeah man so we're basically going to do this is our first walk through our first visit of the property um, of the properties so we're going to carry you guys along with us and we are doing a couple of these in fact um you're going to see in short order us doing more of these videos yeah man. We, have, um, we have more of them lined up guys we actually we sign off on another one um good while you know so certain things start rolling now with a project in terms of procuring um, supplies and them stuff there so just stay tuned we have a couple of these renovations you know cause yeah you know the thing go yeah guys so let's talk about this old Airbnb thing right mm -hmm. with this new article that Adrian brought to my attention cause sometimes <laughs> I ain't be on social media to see now yeah right so the article says what, what's the, what's phone, the title what, what of the phone the, there? what your phone now your phone did I read it from Sita no, I like that. Guys, Mafia, all the camera <laughs> with hand because our rough partner okay. right here. Me, me literally, off. me just broke, broke this thing out. Go buy a new one. You know, I'll go get a new one. Broke off the angle off the camera, something. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> in rough bad. No, sir. Um, let me find the title of the article. So it says Airbnb lockout courts bar short term rental operation from gated residential community. Mm -hmm. And this is October 24, 2023. So there was a couple um things that were highlighted in this article that we wanted to bring out. Yeah. So basically the court barred this particular owner from um operating short term rental in the community because they said that this was not a residential use. So upon acquiring their property, the owners, upon acquiring their property, were told by the Citizens Association that there should be no Airbnb in the complex. And this was agreed to and the court was told. Right guys, so 
in a sense, they, they spoke about the restrictive covenant and the fact that the, the homeowners mm -hmm. all agreed to that. Mm -hmm. right? So they were told beforehand that there should be no Airbnb. There's also a restrictive covenant that prohibits business from occurring, um, which is a residential area. But I have just one question. Airbnb, short-term, long-term rental, isn't that residential business? Right, exactly. And, that um, kind of confused me. So guess what? So in terms of that ruling where okay. the judge... Bye, baby. All right, Jay. Bye. Love you. Bye. All right. Yeah, so we just drop him off. I'm, I'm relatives, you know? Yeah, so... I mean, in terms of that, this is basically... It basically comes down to the, the judges or the judge feel about, about it. Mm -hmm. As I said, come down to at the end of the day, you know. So the, the you get case, me, I say? Yes, and the, the case was made that the neighbors amounted its operation to a nuisance, citing that there was um, a particular family that had to move out. Right. Um, the thing is, you know, a lot of um, real, real estate investors. Mm -hmm. they are not really they're not really they don't really care much about the wider community that they're investing in they, they're only looking at um, revenue income they only care about income generation they don't care about the community they're not really invested in the community per se so what happened is a lot of times like Airbnb for example um, there are some players in the Airbnb space that they make it bad for, for, for other home owners that um, they are invested and are looking to they are looking to actually um, they are looking to, 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 to improve upon their community and not, not just using it as a as a cash cow you know so so basically in this video one of the main the, 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 the key takeaway that we are coming to you guys is with is that um, whenever you are you know operating Airbnb that you all should ensure that the wider community that you're operating in are not affected by your operations, you know? That is true. Right, so, I mean, persons who are investing, even for Airbnb purposes, especially, I'm, I'm appealing to those persons specifically who are investing in communities for Airbnb purposes to ensure that you are adhering to community standards, right? And that you also have your house rules set out and you are enforcing them as well. If if you are operating your Airbnb rental within a, a gated complex, for example, that, you know, having large gatherings and parties will affect your neighbors, then you should have that as a house rule and you should enforce it. You get me? I say, when it come on to noise, the article spoke about the noise aspect, the the, the, the parking or the persons that come to that property them park on the roadway and they're not business you know so Airbnb operators should ensure that they, their guests abide by the rules that you set out if, if, if for example you know, say a two parking spot you know, have at the property mm -hmm. then a two car you know, allow you know, for allow a third or a fourth to park on the roadway because this will this will impact persons around and especially persons who are who might be averse to Airbnb, they will use this as a grounds to to basically um to, to bring complaints. Yeah. You know, so Airbnb players should clean up them yard, they get me I say. But of course these issues that the persons complain about, them not really um them not unique to Airbnb alone. Because even with rental rental properties as well or even other homeowners that might be in in in, in a particular complex they yeah. not really abide by certain rules you know that is true um but i mean it was it's uh, one of the things that struck out um that stuck out to me was one that there was a restrictive covenant that's very important and let's talk about persons who are looking to buy a house so forget airbnb you know what Airbnb is, but a need to look on the restrictive covenant. Yep, yep. Um, a lot of the properties that you're going to buy have them. Every, every, every. I think every property. I think, I think so. They would have some farmer clauses there. But you look know? at, look at the clause. Look at the restrictive covenant because the restrictive covenants are there for life. 
and it means that they are restricting you from doing something right and you need to look at it because this person who bought this property and intended to use it for airbnb did not read in the, the restrictive covenant because they would have realized if they did that this is probably not the place that i want to buy exactly plus they never do research on the community in which they were investing in as well because if they had contacted the Sisters Association or their neighbors or whoever, you know, to find out the do's and the don'ts of the community, they would have realized that this that wouldn't that that wouldn't that wasn't the community that they should be investing in for Airbnb. So yeah. um ultimately the ruling put down by the judge, you know, we can't really we can't really argue against it. You know, because as well, they make it bad for themselves too, because they were being a nuisance to the neighbors too. You know? And, and talking about nuisance, you have to pay attention to your environment. As you can say, Airbnb is not a passive in a passive activity right that a passive income is a very active income so that means that whoever you have managing and they mentioned that the owner was absent yeah so if you are not there then the person who is managing that property have mm -hmm. to be an active person have to be somebody who could have said boy the neighbors did not like yeah. certain certain things okay. so let's start clapping clamping down on certain activities um let's ensure that this apartment can only facilitate Four people, mm -hmm. five people, and yeah. that's all we're taking. Yeah, you know, once Let's you want 10, 15 car pull up and you as a host say, all right, fine, 10, 15 car come, you know, they might pay me my money, so I'm not really care. No, and I saw the thing supposed to go. You mm -hmm. understand what I mean? Because you have to think about your neighbors yeah. and the wider community that you are operating in um, yeah. as well, you yeah. know? And remember, Airbnb is a subset of the investment that you're partaking in. So Airbnb is just an activity that you can do now, but to update, to, but, but to, to keep the value of the property or to encourage it so that it can grow mm -hmm. in the future is going to be the ultimate aim. Right. So you cannot put, use Airbnb now to say, okay, I'm not going to buy my Airbnb and then the value of the community diminishes. Right. So you have exactly. to upkeep the value of the community because when persons are booking Airbnb, they also book for the community that they're going into. Definitely. Right? Yeah, so take that. Um, put it in mind and you see that restrictive covenant there? May I emphasize again? Re no yeah. need to read that there. Read it. Yep. Oh. Uh, yeah, and man. The, 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 the associations and the area will not go. You see them go up at what pastors? <laughs> yeah. them have their money and they have their lawyers and then carry them to court. <laughs> also, we will advise you all to, right? Airbnb operators, you know, um, get get engaged with the, community, with the community that you're operating in. You know, try to be a part of Citizens Association. We don't have to try to be a part of the discussion because that's how um, stakeholder input will be will be gathered. Because if you have just one or a few private owners yeah. um, making all the decisions for everybody, mm -hmm. we're not gonna lose. You yeah. know, so be be more active, be more proactive. Yeah. You get me? I say. Yes, you can. Also, you have to make sure that the Citizens Association is working for you. Adrian was mentioning that he saw another article and this was from Arizona. Yeah, somewhere we're in the and US. Yeah. A similar case. And the judge ruled that basically this is residential use. I was kind of confused when they say um, business and own solely residential because uh, short term or long term rental is residential. Residential, yeah. It's not as if I come open up one cook shop next door <laughs> or I come sell things and open up one stall. <laughs> So it is, it is being used for residential purposes. So that kind of confused me in the article. I said, oh, the judge must say it's not being used for residential. It's being used for residential purposes. Kind of weird. You know, that's, that is weird. Yeah. That's a weird phrasing. Um, but he saw another article in Arizona where the judge actually ruled that a, yeah, a short-term rental is residential use. Mm -hmm. um, that's more what I would consider residential use. So again, there are different, different cases, different scenarios out there and judge are make judges making different you know having far making different opinions. Yeah. I think in this case one of the biggest um factors in this case was the nuisance. Yeah. It True. was emphasized um and they that was the core of their argument that this particular activity was a nuisance. Um, we have to be careful of that. Even if you're not doing Airbnb you need to be you need to look at yeah. the, your environment you need to add to your environment not take away exactly because even if you're not doing airbnb but you're, you're, and you're living somewhere and and your neighbors they don't you're always breaking 
shot or rose. Them can kick you out. Them can literally kick you out and get your place sold. You know? I have, and, and it says that this particular homeowner got notice from the association, this is and this is. They had meetings. The KSA came in, um, gave them stop orders, and they ignored all that. So now when they go to court, they have nothing more to say because they want to get order from KSA. I mean, we have to be very careful. If you're going to move into a strata complex, then you have to know what is a strata. And what will what be the requirement of you? You can just get your money and just go buy anything. Like, <laughs> the days of that is done. True. Um, people are moving against the community and now want to pay maintenance fee. But you don't know, so you have to pay maintenance fee when you're moving there and it is in the homeowner's policy. You, you sign on to that. So, you know, when you're buying a house, let's look at what is going to be required of you guys, not just buying a house. Yep. All right, guys. So, we're going to continue our journey. We're going to go quickly to, the, to that um, place, um, look upon the project, see so how we can help them. Probably show them one or two little clips. I don't know, Bosey Bosey community, the lady does a try, you know, um, she's overseas now. She got um, this property and Having she tried. Having difficulty with it. Yeah. So, we're going to try and help her out. We're going to see, you know, what we can do so yeah stay tuned guys we're going there now yeah guys we're back in the car so we it was it's kind of dark outside as you can see it's getting dark yeah so we didn't get um i don't know what kind of footage you got because mr video man was no no i'm not video not at all i'm not video, no. Me hope guys so i was hoping to like show y'all around mm -hmm. but um there's no electricity in the house Right, um, and it's, it's a little dark outside. I don't know how place look when I just I just cement and when I know electricity that dark. So, yeah. um, dark. yeah, yes, it's dark. Can you it? So, next time, <laughs> next time we can show them more. But based on my assessment, you know, I'm um, gonna come back and do a proper do some proper measurements and so on. But in the interim, I tell the lady, she have to try and lock up the place. Lock of the place as in getting the windows, getting the doors, mm -hmm. at least for a section yeah. where she can start putting put on material. Now you yeah, look on electrical um, stuff, your pipe them, your wires, them things are expensive. Your plumbing stuff, very expensive. So you don't want to have um, an open site because I would say, be, uh, as, as say guys, the place there, um, it's a little bit and more, uh, what do I call it? How do I describe it? I describe the setting, babe. Volatile? Uh, more, kind of like a, a, a little um, ghetto, if you don't want to put it that way. Eh? You see what I say? And thing, but I know, I know Kingston, you know? Like, yeah, I'm getting to Kingston. I know it's not, um, it's, it's open and it is, the place is very, it's susceptible to persons coming in and basically taking what they don't own. Yeah. Yeah. In a sense. So you have to lock it up. Yeah. You see me I say so I tell her I say I got, um break out to some window people locally where she can use um and them can come in as quickly as possible, lock that up because she wanna get moving with the work. But me I say I don't want to bring in a workman and them can them them not comfortable. You see me I say so the place have to lock up and yeah the workman have to comfortable plus the material I feel, I feel um, a little bit more secure too as well so yeah, yeah we are embarked on a little thing here so um, we're still 100% sure um, what we are do but you know we feel like I'm going to help her out still you know bring in someone and try you know knock it out as quickly as possible so as we said the inside rendered but electrical work needs to be done run some wire yeah and thing um, the windows need to be put in doors tiling yeah, she depend on the finishing she depend still basically, you know, the finishing she depend. So yeah guys, um I guess we can kinda of wrap up the video from right here so so you know earlier on we did talk about the Airbnb yeah. um, situation, you know. So guys if you're planning to invest Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So guys, be careful out there uh, when you're going into anything, including construction. Get a good idea of what you're going into. And yep. we wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. You remember to give us a big thumbs up on this video and we to watch all of our content. Subscribe yeah. if you haven't already to the Del Pride Family channel. Definitely. Turn your post notification bell, put the setting on all, and we'll see you guys. Peace. Peace out, guys.